Hmm. Something is different here. But you know what'll never change? Main guides! Colgrim, Adrenaline 1. At the end of your turn, boost self by the difference between the number of cards in players' decks. So this card is actually quite infamous in Gwent because it's kind of built around one of the most toxic strategies in the game, and that is deck clogging. Basically, what you do with deck clogging is that you put cards from the opponent's field into his deck so that he can get bad cards. And you used to be able to clog his deck with tokens, which made this archetype arguably one of the craziest and strongest archetypes. Now, it wasn't strong particularly because it had this one win condition that in, in this case it was Colgrim. And if your opponent was able to answer Colgrim, your entire strategy kind of fell apart. But the fact that you're clogging your opponent's deck with like one point or two point cards made the deck so toxic to play against. But now they changed it so you can't target tokens anymore, which I honestly don't, I don't like this idea. I think they should have done it that the tokens don't go on top. I mean, clogging your opponent with like good cards doesn't really feel that great, but like being able to still clog with tokens, but it not going to the top of the deck, I guess that was just a bit too hard for them to code. So they just had to like remove the uh, entire ability to target tokens or like to clog with tokens. But yeah, Colgrim is kind of like a win-all card. It, it's it's your literal win condition in that deck. And if he goes off, he goes off quite hard, playing for around like 20-something points. And yeah, that's Colgrim for you. Let's see what kind of deck I built around this. All right, so I'm only playing a single Colgrim. I'm not playing any like uh, Letho, Kingslayer, Renew nonsense. I might try that later if I'm not really that successful with the deck, but I feel like this build is pretty strong because I'm playing for Operator, basically. I'm playing that Operator gives your the opponent the Viper Witcher so that I can use Duchess Informants or like Brathens to create a bunch of these Viper Witchers and clog the opponent's top decks as much as possible. If we can pull it off, that's going to be a whole different story. We do have Royal Decree, War Council, and Menno to sort of try and tutor for the Operator. We do need the Viper Witcher in hand, though, so that's always going to be a bit of a difficult task. I also run uh, the Sunset Wanderers, since I'm also playing Tactical Decision. Quite good synergy there. And yes, that's all there is to it. The deck doesn't thin to zero. I don't think it needs to thin to zero as well. The deck kind of just, you know, does that does boost the Colgrim and kind of tries to play sort of a mid-range Colgrim list. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. There is considerations of cutting like Emissary for Double Witcher Adept, but obviously if I'm playing Brothens, I need to play one Emissary at least. And there could also be a consideration to cut the Blightmaker, but sometimes I won't draw both my, all, all three of my sort of uh, top of the deck cards, such as Mage Assassin and the Afan, so yeah, that's why I'm playing one Blightmaker here. And Blightmaker could also put something on top of my deck if I need to use Tactical Decision. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Let's just jump into some games and see how we do. All right, we are up against Shield Wall. Okay, interesting, interesting. Northern Realms isn't really that represented in the meta. I, I've, I've been playing a, a few games to sort of get back into the game, trying to find some interesting combos to play out. So we have our access to the Operator here with Menno into the Kree. We just want more informants basically at this point. I like the coded weapons. Having Mage Assassin could be kind of good. We have another Wiper Witcher. I'm thinking of mulliganing the Mage Assassin here. Yes, we get the Duchess Informant. That's also really good. That's actually pretty nice. So the idea is to basically use Duchess Informant on this, but not use it on this. So you, you don't Viper Witcher your Viper Witcher. You Viper Witcher something else. But yeah, that, that, that it's pretty much a heavy clog idea here. No Cynthia feels kind of bad. Doesn't give us a proactive play. He might just play something and, and, and engineering solution it. So I'm just gonna be willing to go hunting pack then because I already have a status. Because we just wanna be able to activate the adrenaline on this. Oh, Neuromancy immediately. So is this like a Siri Nova? Oh, okay, no. It is just 
a simple Windhelm of Atre. Bleeding is kind of effective against this. Hmm, that's a that's a bit of a problem actually. I might have to actually Viper Witcher that. This feels really bad, but this is gonna go off. This might actually go off, but I think I, I think actually like I, I'm fine with this, right? Why is he playing Windhelm though? That's okay. So he's playing a shield deck. That's quite fascinating. All right, I'm gonna see what Council gives me, since I already thinned my deck by one. Okay, that's not very good. Actually, that's all right. That's not terrible because I'm able to sort of disrupt this engine for two turns. Okay. So he does that, that's fine. He's playing like a shield deck, that is okay. Alright, I think I start with the operator now. Enable my adrenaline. And go for a few of these Viper Witchers and give him a bunch of these cavalries. This is so good on the blue coin here because we can just like... Abuse the fact that we are going sec uh, second, yeah. So which one's more valuable? I think the damn sorceress is actually less valuable. So there's that. So it goes AA for defender. Okay, ah, uh, that's annoying. I should have probably... Okay. Well, that forces out defender out of him, though. There's a consideration to just con continuously spam the defender here. Oh, man, this is really annoying. Defenders are kind of a problem in this deck. I might actually have to change something so I can add a Purify into this deck. But it's really difficult to do. Because now my entire like strategy has just been screwed over with the Defender. Unless I just give him a bunch of Defenders. <laughs> Am I willing to just give him a... But like, the problem is I can't really do that as well because... Ugh, that's so bad. That's really bad. I think I actually have to pass here. This feels so bad. I should have probably gone for a, a different row and not stack his one row. Yeah, that's that feels does that, that does not feel good at all. That does not feel good at all. I probably should I could have probably kept playing there, but I don't I didn't see a reason to, since my strategy has already been sort of disrupted there. I mean, if he bleeds me, we have leader, right? Leader is always really good. Okay, there's the immortals. Huh. Okay, that's a bit annoying. I gotta just have to play this into. The Adept. I need an engine here to keep up with his engines. Yeah, I think we're losing this. This is not looking very good. He's gonna get the damn sorcerers as well now, right? Oh, no, he's not. Okay, so he's getting that. I think I'm okay with this, though. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a pretty good Duchess informant, I would say. I'm just gonna take it. I probably should have played Brothens here. Okay, now he's now he's committed pretty hard for this. So now I can actually like use his strategy against him and just deny him these points. Yeah, I think I just deny him these points, honestly. This is kinda what I need to do here. At this point. Because I, I'm nullifying this basically right now. <clears throat> maybe maybe an Ivar isn't that bad in this deck. Uh, I don't know, Ivar doesn't make sense. I need, I need ways to deal with his defend with their defenders sometimes. It does not feel good when they play defenders, for sure. So he's gonna lock that. Oh my god, this is so bad. Alright, I'll just do this. We're not even clogging him effectively here. Interesting. Well, he has to use this now, right? He knows it's gonna die. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. Still have like one turn before I slam my stuff. Probably should have taken the shield off of this instead. Nah, I think I just do this. And now I'm just gonna smash leader, honestly. I don't know what else to do here. Okay. That's not like bad, because I can kind of just steal this shield and get points for myself, and also kill this. Like, this just gives him a garbage card. And I think I'm actually going to use leader here as well, because I don't want to get the Sunset Wanderers out just yet. 
Yeah, these are good cards to top deck. Okay, wow, that's really good. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Please hit the... Okay, no, I didn't hit the one. Alright, I'm gonna go give him a Duchess Informant here. Alright, now we thinned quite well here, and we also clogged him a little bit. And we can just play these two cards at this point. So he's just he's playing nothing but shields, that's kind of funny. Okay, that's actually kind of scary though. I mean, in the worst case scenario, he gets our Wanderers out. Which is a bit upsetting, but nothing we can really do about that at this point. Oh, he's going Rogner now? Okay, sure. Not sure that's the best idea to go all in at this point. Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. But okay, I I I see why he does it. We're staying ahead by one. I can put Cynthia on top, so I have at least a seven point Blightmaker. Oh wow, he passes. Oh wow. Okay, I mean I thin to zero exactly, which is kind of funny. He used all his leader charges. Well, that was a that was a bit of a weird one. Give him my duchess as well. All right, sweet. <laughs> Let's go see how well we can do here. All right, we got the ten here. I mean, how is he able to deal with my Colgrim? Okay, that's pretty good. Not I. All right, my last card is always going to be Blightmaker here. If only they knew. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the hell this guy's playing, to be honest, but whatever, it's fine. I mean, you could have Earden, to be fair. There is a consideration to play around Earden here. Ah, not really, though, is there? I mean, yeah, this is probably the type of deck to play an Earden. He did pass. All right, I'll show him the one Colgrim at least. Boom! All right, sweet. 21 point Colgrim. Yeah, love to see it. Pretty good stuff. Okay, I mean, that was a pretty bad deck from the opponent, so we're gonna give him a shout out for playing something abstract. And, I mean, I think his round two was really poorly played, though. He could have. He was in an okay position, but the Wanderers was just too much at that point. And him forcing out my leader was a good position. Like, yeah, he, he was... After I was able to use my leader, he was not in a good position anymore. And he had to use Defender as well in round one. So I think we did that pretty well. Okay, who are we playing again? Okay, we're playing Nilfgaard. Okay. I mean, do they have, like, Purifies? Not sure. So I... All I need right now is Operator. Oh my god, All literally all I need right now is Operator. War Council could technically give me an Operator. Oh, I need this. Oh my god, okay, this is a this is a clog hand, baby. This is the clog hand. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Oh, this is so exactly what I wanted, dude. It's not even funny. Are you trying to clog me? Get, get out of here, dog. Get out of here, dog. Get out of here, bro. Get out. Oh my god. This hand is like, I've never seen a more clog heavy hand in my life. Like, we are so gonna clog this guy. Oh, we're gonna clog him with Lamp Gin as well. That card's not even like. Okay, I need to. I need one turn though. If this finds Cynthia, bro, this is so busted. Okay, did not find. Uh, this is fine though, right? I get Hunting Pack out now. That's actually good for me, right? I'm, I'm, I'll take this. This is this is perfectly fine with me. There was very little chance of this actually being a bad roll there. The only bad roll would have been coded weapons and like two of these. Okay, sure, that's fine. All right, so we're giving him a bunch of mage assassins here. All right, he needs to pass. This is really scary for him. I, eh? No, I think I do this right. I'm not sure if I need to play Brassens just yet. It's quite a committal play. I think the guy really just wants to pass here. But then he gives me a chance to just clog him in in the round, in the next round. 
And I can also uh, Duchess the Blightmaker if I need to. Alright, he keeps going. He keeps her going. Yeah, that's pretty funny. That is quite hilarious. Oh, he, gives, he makes it bigger as well. That's really good for me. That is actually really good for me, dude. Alright, give me that. Give me that value. Get clogged, son. Oh, he's- Oh, it's a, it's a battle of clogs. It is a, it's just a battle of clogs here. Oh, that's a bit rude. That's actually very rude. Alright, let's see who got more clog potential here. Alright, it does work on Jin. I actually- that was actually kind of risky. I wasn't sure if it does. I'm definitely clogging this guy more than he's gonna clog me. Like, there's no way he doesn't- I don't clog him more. Oh, okay. More clogs, baby. <laughs> more clogs, dude. Let's go. Let's go. What's better than dead noble? Okay. Oh, he puts on the- okay. Well, that's not bad, right? I just get more clogs this way. Do I actually, like, not care? Yeah, I, I actually don't care. I just want to clog. I want to get Sunset Wanderers out. Do I give him duchesses? I give him more assassins, right? Like, what's he gonna do with these assassins? Yeah, this is now looking really scary for him. Oh, we get the dog out as well. That's so busted. That is so busted. Like, what's he gonna do now? Like, every card in my deck just makes his deck so bad. Okay, he goes bribery. We haven't necessarily thinned much, but we we're, we have good thinning potential. In few, oh, that's pretty good. That's so rude, man. Um, what do I give him? I, do I give him a- no, I give him another lamp gen, right? We both have such terrible top decks here. It's kind of funny. Oh, he goes Amnesty? That's fair. That's fair. Do I give him- nah, I don't give him Cynthia. I just give him a Duchess Informant. I'm fine with that. Bro, literally my entire hand was <laughs> was freaking Viper Witchers. <laughs> How did that happen? Sick! I played six Viper Witchers, bro. I clogged his deck so much. A satellite can't clog his guardian. Okay, what's he gonna do there? What's he gonna get? I could play leader as well this round if I really, really wanna. Okay, that's fine. That's actually- I don't really want to clog him with this. I kind of want to just give him more of these... These mage assassins here. <laughs> oh my god, we drew, we drew the complete nuts here. It's actually hilarious. Sadly, we, we don't have- I mean, I could just play leader and then mulligan the Kogrim. Maybe find like... I, maybe find Cynthia? Maybe. Oh, Cantarella? He's thinning my deck for me. Okay, that's pretty good. Wait. Is that- Oh, that actually keeps him ahead by one. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, I just use leader here, right? Or do I just pass? Like his top decks are so. I mean, no, I use leader. I need to win this round because his his top decks are complete ass. He literally has no good cards in his friggin' deck. Like actually, no good cards anymore. I just put these three on top and play my garbage hunting pack. Yeah, th that's. Bro, we're just 2 owing this guy, right? I do want to find a Royal Decree, though. Or a Defender. Wait, how is my deck... How have I not thinned my deck at all? Here. That's a bit weird. Okay. I think I keep going here. I think I need to keep going here. Wait, he doesn't have any good cards, though. He's just got Mage Assassins, bro. This guy literally has nothing. Oh, he's got- oh, he's got that though. That's pretty good. Okay. Sure. I accept it. Alright. Keep up with the 11 point play. The thing is he has leader charges, so I need to- I need to actually draw my defender here. Yeah, he's got this card. He's got a bunch of those cards. I mean, I could just play this for- Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I want to clog him even further. I mean, I can't even clog him any further at this point. Goes Jin. I mean, I would have won, right? Like, it's an easy win, but being able to just have double ass say with this is pretty good. That is pretty good. 
literally no disruption. I don't even need Defender at this point anymore. Oh, I can even clog him further. That's so good. Oh, more claw, oh, dude. I, I kind of want... I hope I don't draw the Emissary here. Okay, I kind of want to clog him like fully. Which is complete and utter garbage here. Yeah. Ah, come on. You could have played it out and get completely whacked. But yeah, no, that, I, I understand why you forfeited there. That was a pretty stupid game. I mean, we drew the complete nuts. That was actually the perfect scenario for our strategy. Red coin and literally draw every Duchess with the Infiltrator and double Viper Witchers. Like, that was unbeatable. Like, his top decks were still... There was still so much garbage in his top decks. Like, I think he had, like, three Mage Assassin and, like, two Lamp Jins still. Yeah, that was real. And, and, and I think he also had a Duchess Informant. <laughs> Dude, he was so screwed. That was that was unwinnable, unwinnable for him. Honestly, this is one of the decks where you hate playing against it, but you love playing it. And, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Because it's a really disgusting deck to play. I don't think I need two Mage Assassin. Operator in hand is fantastic here. He can, I mean, we, we can find out if he's a, a Madoc variant. I don't need the Emissary. Fion's all right. Okay, so he does that. That's to be expected. Still not sure which, which variant he is, so we'll just start playing with this. I could go Decree for Cynthia, I guess. I mean, Decree for Cynthia never, I mean, no, Decree for Brathens is so much better, right? Every time. He could kill his own Viper Witcher here. It's definitely not a dumb idea. This is oh, your land, okay. You're not Interesting. I think I just, de ah, Decree, it's it's either Decree Brathens or Decree um, Cynthia here. Is I think Brathens might be a bit too greedy. He also, he also clogged his deck here, which is something that I can use to my advantage. I can actually go location here into the Adept. Because I think that I can stall for enough turns here, pretty much. He's gonna buff a lot of stuff in his hand with the Dunka. We just have to let the Dunka go through here. Okay. I think I I think I meno decree uh Brathens here. Yeah, I think I just do this. I think this is like the safest play here. He's gonna whoa. Oh, he wants to, okay, he wants to waylay. That's fair. I mean, honestly, clogging him with Vanadane isn't terrible, I think. Like, it's actually a viable option here. So I'm gonna go Decree into Brathens here, pretty much. Move the deck around a little bit. He's playing like a Vanadane deck, I think. Or, I don't know what he's actually playing, to be fair. He could be playing, like, Decoy here. Which would be a bit awkward, but I'm fine with that. I can also that the, the good thing about this deck as well is that I can target the Duchess Informants now to clog his deck, which is definitely something you want to do as well because Duchess Informants could be completely bricked against the Defender. So yeah, that's also something to take note of, and it's a definitely a possible line you can take. Okay, so he wants to keep going for the waylays. I mean that's fair, right? These are nine point waylays. Why wouldn't he take those? Sadly, I can't clog his deck with the Elven uh, <laughs> Dead Eyes, but that's fine, right? Right? It's, it's not like the end of the world. I think I need to play Duchess here. As much as, much as I like leveling up the Sunset Wanderers further, or do I? Yeah, no, I, I need to play the Duchess here. It, it seems like he's not giving me many targets for my Duchesses anyway, so. Okay. Whoa, I don't think... Wait, why is he doing that? Oh, does he think, like, I'm done with my Viper Witchers? Yeah, that's never over, dude. The Viper Witcher train never stops. It's kind of like the whole point of it. Okay, so he's committing quite a bit into this. And I think we're also committing leader then. Help is not on the way. Like, this is fine, right? Not all battles need end in bloodshed. Okay, okay, we got the second assassin, that's fine. Uh, we'll put Emissary on top. Pretty much, yeah. No stage more foul than flesh. Oh no, why did you- Okay, I should've probably done that first then. Uh, how did they both hit the, 
the sentinels. That's really annoying. Okay, that's fine, right? I just do this again. What's better than a dead noble? Dead nobles. Yeah, get the wanderers out as well. So we clogged. Oh wow, we, I didn't even notice how hard we clogged him here. We clogged him quite hard. Jesus Christ, we clogged him hard. We could honestly just go for a 2 at this point. If we draw the Colgrim. Blightmaker into Affin is also pretty solid. There's a lot of top decks we can have. Okay, Colgrim's nice. Blightmaker's nice. That's also kind of nice. I guess I don't need the Emissary then. Yeah, I mean, we could break here, so I'm actually just fine to not do anything here. Alright, we're gonna keep going. I probably should have started with the... I mean, Adepts just gets rebuked, right? So I probably should play just the Fion before. Yeah, okay, sure. Dude, he's, did he clog his deck more now? That's not... There's no way he did that just now, right? Oh my god, he clogged his deck further. I mean, sure. I'll take it. I think I'll just play the Fion now. I think we're going for a 2-0 at this point. Like, he has a bunch of garbage here. Like, we clogged him a lot, by the way. Also, he has no targets for his waylays now, because he did create two waylays just now. Like, this card is so bad. <laughs> like, this was a pretty good clog, honestly. This makes his life really, really difficult. Like, if he heat wave the if he heat waves this, that's perfectly fine with me, right? Like, the 2-0 is always the correct strategy as well. Why did he clog his deck further? That would Okay, so now he has the Fane Death. I don't really care about this. In the slightest? Like, actually? Okay. So... Yeah, I'll, I'll play War Council next. That's a pretty easy War Council for me. Alright, we'll do this. We coded wet. We want to clog as much as we can here, pretty much. No reason not to. We're up... We're, we're getting, like, a 16-point Colgrim here as well. Like, that's just stupid. Okay, sure. Uh, orb? Okay, that's... I don't care. Wait, that's fine. It's like, whatever. Wait. Can I... I mean, I just do this, right? I, I still, like, clog him here fully. I put back Orb of Insight, right? <laughs> that's kind of funny. Unless he has, uh... Big Boy here, we, sh we should be okay? Oh, he does have big boy, doesn't he? Okay, no, he doesn't. The earth okay. Flow with the blood of Enche, the blood of elves. Oh, he's standing quite effectively here, though, so that's kind of sad. I mean, I might actually just pass here. I think it's better to pass here, right? Every time. Yeah, it's 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 just correct to pass here. Because like, even if he has like an Eirden or something, we still win. <laughs> 45 point Colgrim, let's go. I mean, he would have got, yeah, no, that was the highest he was going to reach this game. Jeez, Louise, that's pretty cool. All right, we are facing Precision Strike. Okay, last time we did pretty well against it. Let's see how we do against it this time. All right, we mulliganed all the dogs. No operator, though. I mean, this sounds a bit awkward in general. This sounds really awkward. I do not like it. Yeah, Dunka turn one usually what they have. Oh well, I guess I can play the hunting pack then. It's not the worst. And then I can just play my good old wi Wiper Witcher Adept. And see what we can do afterwards. Oh Jesus. Yeah, I need to kill that, don't I? Do kinda need to kill this. Feels bad to have to kill it like this, but... Really don't know how else I'm gonna do that. Oh, no, he threw two. Oh, God, okay. Uh, do we hire? Ah, oh, this is so... Nah, that's way too high rolly. Way too, way too high rolly. Yeah, I guess we have to accept the fact that he's gonna pull this off now. God, that's so annoying. This card, Elven Seer is so crazy. Actually completely busted. Alright, let's see if we can high roll. Oh my god, we actually do. That's so good. 
Wow, that's really lucky. I mean, he's getting a lot of carryover. But we are also getting a lot of carryover. ADC? Wait, what? Is this Vanadane? Wait, why are you playing Vanadane? Alright, sure, I mean... <laughs> clock your deck, Bo. I don't mind it too much. Yeah, he has to kind of decide here. If he wants to clog. This is our he cl oh, he clogs. Okay, fair enough. You're not welcome here. Sure, sure, sure. Them Offering hunger. accepted. Them with thirst. I might actually, uh, yet again, uh, do the Gother on this. Ugh, stop oh my god. Like I could pass. How good is passing here, though? Passing here seems pretty nuts. He's gonna go down to three. He's clogged his deck quite a lot. He's got two waylays bricked in his hand here. That will play for nine, though, so... I'm pretty happy to just, you know, pass here. Like, he we keep, he keeps leader, to be fair. But, it's fine, right? Okay, so he goes in there. Okay, so he wants to thin his deck a little bit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He's playing, okay, okay, okay. I see what he's doing. All right, fair enough. Sure, okay, that's fine. I think he wanted that. That was probably the perfect outcome for him there. But we have, we, we, I think we're in a good position, though. I think right now we're in a really good position. Hmm. So don't need these. I mean, this is good for leader, right? I think I need to... I'm only gonna Duchess. Okay. Okay. Wait, he's bleeding me here? Hold up, what? Wait, why is he bleeding me? I don't understand that line. Too much. He had two rebukes. He probably plays Protector, right? I kind of want to use this to clog. I could Decree for something. I could Decree for Defender now. Ah, decree for Defender feels so bad, though. I honestly don't know what to do. I think I'll just Brathens here. And go Emissary. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Feels a bit bad. Oh, boy. That's very scary. Okay. That is actually quite terrifying. TBH. I'm gonna use leader here. Um, I guess I get rid of the decree now. I literally don't need anything from the decree at this point. And I will use operator. To clog this guy. Because why not? Operator didn't even make sense there. <laughs> okay, so he's not playing for waylays, like waylay spam, but he is gonna get a lot of friggin' points here. It's kind of disgusting how many points this is. But at least he's gonna use it all at once. Yeah, he's gonna use it all at once. And he's not even getting ahead here. That's a lot of spells, though. Oh, that's a lot of spells. Um. So he's getting what five? Don't yell, my lady. He'll clean your throat. Help is not on the way. This ties right. Okay. Time for you to die, Dwan. All right, I'll take I'll take the twelve point wanderers here. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. I mean, was this really worth it in the end? I don't think so. I don't think that was worth it, to be honest. Okay, there's leader. Okay, that's a lot of points, to be fair. Okay. So that's over now. We get this place for 21. Oh wait, no it doesn't. It actually doesn't. Okay, that's a bit scary, wait. I think I need to see what this gives me. Strike fast, leave it no chance to react. Okay, that's fine. All right, sweet. That's pretty good. 
Alright, who are we facing here? We're facing the mighty White Frost. Oh, White Frost could be a good matchup for us. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, we do not care about, like, White Frost value at all. Okay, sure. We have Operator. We want more Duchess Informants here. So I get rid of the Mage Assassin. Okay, no Duchess Informants. That's fine, though. All right. The problem might be Imlaris Wrath with movement. That could be actually our biggest um, problem. To play Cynthia here. Oh, gee, that's scary. Foglet is very scary here. Oh, uh, no. Where's my friggin' coated weapons now? I have to decree for Menno to do that. Is that worth it? I might actually have to. My hand's very good here. Yeah, this feels a bit weird, but I can live with it. Okay. Naglfar's crew. Sure. Okay, gets his Winter Queen out. It's A-OK -okay with me. I don't have too much to lose this round. I've got an okay hand. Maybe a bit too committal of a hand. Oh, okay. Defender? That's interesting. And he gives that the, the veil. Okay, why is he playing defender, though? Am I happy with this round? We got good stuff out of him, to be fair. And we didn't really commit too much. I mean, we committed the, the Kree. But I'm not too upset with that. He, we got his defender out, which is pretty good for my Brothens and my Duchess in the future. I think I'm passing here because I also don't have that many points right now. I need. I would have needed like 19 or wait, more than that actually, like 20 something. 21 I think I needed. But we did clog him, which is good. Okay. That's looking pretty good, honestly. I might mulligan Colgrim though. I might actually mulligan my good cards here. I will draw into them later anyway, right? With tactical decision. I can also get him through War Council. He wants to bleed me here every time. Uh, that's not good. Oh my goodness gracious, that is scary. This might be, this might actually be really scary with these two on board. Like if he has an art gate here, that's so many bloody points, it's actually scary. I would have to use my leader, I think, then, if he plays the art gate. Oh, that's a good clock target. That's a really good clock target. I think I still use leader here, right? Help is not on the way. He used full leader, I'll use full leader here. Oh, this would have been useful last turn. Oh, nice. We got... Oh, that's a good draw. Those were pretty good hits there. Might get rid of the informant. Yeah, I get rid of informant here. Yeah, that's a pretty good swing now. We still have wanderers online. That's a pretty good Eridan. What's better than a dead noble? Okay. Okay. Is that the art gate? Oh no, it's not. Okay, sure. That is still a lot of points, though. That is still a crazy amount of points. He hasn't played Naglfar. This might be completely garbage. I might need this for big points. I'll just play Brothens here. Okay. Dude, Wanderers is so good, man. It's actually a crazy good card. What? Okay, so he's Devotion. What can I do with this? I'll just do this, right? Okay. Alright, 
Um, yeah, I play. I always play the mentor here. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Wait, what's the thirteen provision card? She who knows. She who knows, right? I still, have dude. I still have defender in Colgrim. That's so good. Yeah, there's she who knows. Wait, am I losing this? Don't tell me I'm losing this. Okay, I'm not. Oh my god, I actually lost. <laughs> I actually lost. Wow. Wow. I actually lost. That's annoying. We would have had, we would have beaten him right. Oh, dude, that round three would have been completely off the wire. But I mean, GG. That was a pretty cool deck. Uh, gotta admit. I mean, the the she who knows was a bit weird, but shout out to this guy for trying something different. All right, so Colgrim. Colgrim is a very interesting card. I actually kind of like his design. The problem is the cards around him are very hard to balance in a gameplay side of things where. You as a player playing against it are always gonna suffer like a lot and when you're playing it You're gonna have like the best time ever because you're just ruining your opponent's day It's a very double-edged sword for CDPR to balance so uh, Yeah, I mean I, I kind of I I personally really like this card. I hate the cards around it like the the clog mechanic and what it used to be but I think in its current state it feels it doesn't feel like amazing, so it's it's kind of more of a meme these days, but you can still get some wins out of it if you, you know, play well enough and get some good matchups. There are obviously some terrible matchups for it. For example, Maddox decks, you're always gonna lose against Maddox decks if they have at least two tall punishes uh, or like are able to deal with Defender and have a tall punish, then you're also really, really prone to just losing games. And yeah, I mean, sometimes you just need to draw really well as well. Like that last game where if we had, for example, the coded weapons for the Foglets, we just win that game pretty easily, but we didn't. And they kind of just went off with the Foglets. So that's that was a bit unlucky, but what can you do? And yeah, I kind of, I, I do like Kogrim. He's a pretty interesting card. Uh, the only problem is it's really hard to balance, basically. So he's always going to be like this sort of tier two to three deck that exists in the game because you can punish certain decks and then there's decks that punish you for existing. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe for more Gwen content, and I'll see you soon.